what we have here is uh, the um, various machines that um, have been developed um, and um, this machine here was originally developed by Robert Beck who was murdered uh, because of his AIDS cure and what we do with it um, uh, it produces a EMF and if we'll just zoom in on the, on the battery there, but this is just an ordinary battery sitting on that coil. And we're going to fire it. And uh, you see that what's happening is it'll send up a, this is quite a heavy little battery, sends up an EMF field which you place on the top of the head, either side of the head, um, front and back, because of the uh, latest virus is targeting the um, the function of the brain and that is why you'll find a lot of people have lost um, their taste, they don't have any appetite, uh, they're very lethargic, they can't think um, without a great deal of difficulty, they want to sleep all the time. Now this, this here is um, two silver rods placed in uh, a glass of water. Now, preferably the water would be um, clean water, not from the tap, but if it's going to save your life, use the tap anyhow, because they put fluoride in the water. Fluoride was used in the, uh, by the Nazis during the war. Um, now what we have there at the bottom is um, the latest development which is now manufactured in China. It's called the SOTA. It's a corporation in Canada is now developing it. Uh, this was my original design. It does the same thing, except it has uh, three 9-volt batteries. Well, this one is a better design. It's got one 9-volt battery. And um, you turn that on, and it will start by ripping silver off the positive electrode which is a silver wire, this is also a silver wire that could be a copper wire, it doesn't matter so silver wire is, is good and the silver is then being suspended as a positive charge in the water it comes off as like a, like a grey smoke around the electrode so you watch it and uh, to test it you get a laser beam and you can fire the laser through and it'll bounce off the silver Now. We then take the same machine, plug in, and now the configuration becomes uh, a pulsar. So what happens is we, we turn the pulsar on, and you'll see that it's flashing away. I'll just get up close so you can see it. And what that is is 4 hertz per second. It's uh, taking these two uh, electrodes, which we put into a little cotton pocket, little envelope. We then immerse that in the silver or in salt water. We then place it on the wrist and you see how my veins are extended there. One that side and one on the other side and we place a uh, wristband around it which is Velcro basically and then we just push those into position and um, we turn the device on and the patient can do it him or herself and as you turn it up it'll start to pulse you see my hand is starting to do this business that's uncontrollable so I just take that back down you see the thumb there I can't stop that so I just take that back down until it stops the involuntary pulsing. The patient can slightly feel that and throughout the half hour that it's applied to two hours um, the patient can adjust the, the uh, voltage. So we then have given the patient a drink of water. We've taken this machine here, we've flashed the lymph nodes in the groin, up the stomach, up the backbone as well uh, front of the head, back of the head, either side of the head and top of the head 
to target those uh, inaccessible places of the brain, which is now targeted, I can guarantee you, has been targeted by the Americans. They've got three years up their sleeve. I want to get rid of you all in three years. We are now changing the water from H2O to H2O3. We then give that to the patient. And what we want to see is the patient drink as much water as possible because blood is primarily water. Your body, in fact, is um, about 80 to 85% water and your brain's about 90 to 95%. So um, what we're doing here basically is applying all of these devices. Uh, this was, a said, Robert C. Beck. He was murdered, by the way, for his efforts. And uh, he developed the flash. And being a physicist, um, he also came up with the idea of being able to get into the lymph nodes to kill the virus where it's pretty well inaccessible. I took it one step further and did the brain as well. And uh, that eliminates the, the, uh, the hunger and the taste. Also, I found a lot of patients are numb down one side. Um, and uh, they immediately, when I say immediately, within a half an hour, they're back to normal. Primarily, uh, people are cured within a half an hour, but we go for an hour, two hours, and um, their behaviour is uh, notably different, as you'll see in the next clip.